Hello everyone, I'm Yu Chanxie, a postgraduate of Guangdong University of Technology. I'm glad to introduce our paper, Learning Semantic Alignment from Image, for text-guided image in painting. Text-guided image in painting restores corrupted images into complete and clear images by generating semantically plausible content from various textual descriptions. Specifically, textual guidance can be complementary to the corrupted images with complicated things such as unique masks on objects or large holes. Text-guided image in painting can be applied to real-world scenarios for restoration purpose, such as drawing a profile of a criminal whose face is covered according to the description of witnesses, and fixing an overexposed close-up photo whose main character is erased. Text-guided image in painting faces twofold challenges. First, it is difficult to utilize various textual guidance as additional supervision due to that textual descriptions can be heterogeneous to the restored images, which leads to partial cross-domain problem. For instance, a text sentence may describe only certain regions of an image while ignoring other parts. Second, textual descriptions about uncorrupted images regions may instead distract the restoration when we take them as guidance. In this picture, the red words of textual descriptions are the meaningful for restoration, while the other words are distracting. Facing these challenges, we propose our LSAI model. LSAI consists of three components, including the multimodal preliminary module, semantic relation graph module, and image generation module. To address the heterogeneity between visual and textual modalities, we design a text image matching loss a multimodal preliminary module to regularize the similarities between the generated images and textual descriptions, measuring the multimodal similarities locally and globally, which avoids the partial cross-domain problem. To address the distracting words, the semantic relation graph module is proposed to extract meaningful textual words which utilize graph convolution network to aggregate the node neighborhood information underlying images and update word embeddings. In this model, we adopt two pass training mode following previous work. The model includes an in-painting pass and an auxiliary pass to utilize the missing image patches as supervision for restoration purpose. More specifically, the in-painting pass is fed with the corrupted images and the auxiliary pass is fed with the missing image patches. Both corrupted images and missing image patches are used during training, while only corrupted images are used during testing. Let's take a look at the MP module first. The MP module is pre-trained to match the original images and textual descriptions by minimizing the distance between their local features and locally guided global features. The MP module consists of a visual encoder and a textual encoder. The visual encoder captures the local features of an image via ResNet. Furthermore, the output of the ResNet is reshaped through a fully connected layer to be the global feature iGlobal. The textual encoder extracts the local and global features of the textual description via bidirectional GRU. 
The embeddings of n words in the textual description are defined as the local features t local. To avoid partial cross domain association problem between textual description and images, the MP module weighs the importance of local features via multi head self attention. To obtain the locally guided global features FI and FT, the similarity between T local and I local is calculated by cosine distance. The similarity between FI and FT is computed based on the negative and positive sentence image matching pairs, which is as which is as shown as S global. In the SRG module, the edge extractor turns the image feature into adjacency matrix of the graph, whose dimension matches the number of words in a textual description. Furthermore, we incorporate GCN to update the node features by propagating its adjacency matrix, which weighs textual words in non Euclidean space. In particular, the image feature maps also combine the word embeddings in a transformer to weigh textual words in Euclidean space. As a result, the non Euclidean and Euclidean attributes of images are added to gain a multimodal word representation, omega. The IG module consists of a fusion network, a generator, and two discriminators for adversarial training. During two-pass training, the auxiliary pass goes through the module to generate upsampled images, parallel with the restored images in the in-painting pass. Firstly, the fusion network concatenates the video and textual feature to utilizable multimodal priors H, that is HM and HC. The fusion network regularizes HM towards HC with the KL divergence. Since HC in the auxiliary pass contains the feature of the missing image patch, meanwhile HC each regularizes to the normal distribution in the same way. Furthermore, Fusion Network obtains the multimodal distributions phi with residual learning. The generator consists of five residual convolution layers. The generated images are distinguished in two discriminators which have the same structure to distinguish the generated image with L1 distance and L2 distance. Then, let's take a look at the loss functions of the LSAI model. Firstly, we use the reconstruction loss to penalize the restored images with the original images. And there is the gain loss, which is defined by the two discriminator we implemented. Furthermore, the text image matching loss mentioned in the MP module it's adapted to refine the generated images with textual descriptions where G denotes the generated images in two passes. Combining the affirmation the divergence loss, the objective function of LSAI can be summarized as L total. Here are some details about our experiments. The evaluation are conducted on COV-2011 and MS COCO datasets. We compare the state-of-art baselines, including two text-guided image impainting methods, TDA-MMFL, and two image impainting methods, RFR and MADF, in terms of performance matrix, FID and KID measure the quality of images corresponding to human perception, while PSNR and SSIM measure the pixel level distance between the restored and 
original images. Table 1 summarizes the quantitative performance of baselines and LSAI on two datasets, from which we can observe that our LSAI achieved significant improvement on FID and KID. Figure on the left side shows the qualitative comparisons of our LSAI with existing methods. The image in painting methods RFR and MADF are highly dependent on the remaining regions, which leads to blur result and tend to erase objects in the original images. Comparatively, LSAI have clear boundaries and are consistent with the textual descriptions. In particular, we conduct qualitative evaluations with a ranking game to evaluate the naturalness and semantic consistency. The ranking score distributions of the approaches are shown in the figure on the right side, from which we can observe that the proposed LSAI achieves ranking scores quite close to the ground truth on both aspects outperforming the baseline significantly. As for ablation study, we conduct ablation experiments on CUB211 and MS COCO to evaluate the effectiveness of each novel component. From the table, we can observe that LSAI tops most matrix comparing with other variation methods. As shown in the figure, the MP module and the SRG module are vital to the reality and the semantic consistency of the restored images. To evaluate the semantic relation graph, we visualize the SRG in the auxiliary path at the end of the training. The meaningful words and distracting words are regularized or subnally to each other. From the figure, it is easy to extract meaningful words describing the missing image patch and distracting words from the guiding description. We also evaluated various textual description to manipulate variety of in-painted images. This figure shows some in-painting images corresponding to different textual descriptions from which we have twofold observations. First, LSAI in paints are consistent images with the original one, given the text describing the original image, as shown in example C. Second, LSAI generates various natural images given arbitrary descriptions. In summary, we propose a method called LSAI for text-guided imaging painting. Through a semantic relation graph module, LSAI learns meaningful words describing the image content and alleviate the impact of distracting words by aggregating the semantic relations with graph convolution. A text image matching loss is devised to penalize the restored images for diverse textual and visual semantics locally and globally. Quantitative and qualitative experiments demonstrate the outperformance of LSAI against the state-of-the-art approaches. Thank you for your attention. Please refer to our paper for more details.